Hey Wastelanders, this is going to be for me a fun one because I uh, just watched uh, Stuff We Do He's out of South Africa. He got the, a special edition Tonto Honey Badger with uh, scales never before seen on a Honey Badger. I mean, not necessarily, it's Jade I think has been seen, but the scales didn't have uh, the honeycomb pattern. So if uh i'll try to link a uh, link in the description and up there to his channel um i really i, I love seeing that special edition uh, honey badger so that made me think uh, i should show off my honey badgers so i'm going to start first with this uh honey badger that i got from uh rion ryan I always, if you watch this stuff we do, say A or B in the pronunciation of your name, Rion or Ryan. So, so I got this uh, special uh, gift from uh, stuff we do. And uh, I don't think I've ever seen this knife available on uh, the American market and I loved it so uh, I think I commented on so many times he just ended up sending it to me um, I love this knife it's uh, oh, it's like an Emerson wave knife I noticed this version of the knife is uh, when you flip it it's a little bit of a weak detent you have to let me see yeah you have to push button it you have to just probably pry a little bit of pressure maybe I just need to uh, tighten up the pivot yeah, I, don't, I don't know but I should spidey flick it um, also he provided the sheath so you insert it in the sheath and you carry it around your neck or you could, probably could mount it on your waist but this is pretty light so you can use this sheet to wave it out I, I've carried it around my neck um, a few times under my shirt but primarily I've, I've not carried it a lot and I don't think I ever reviewed it so look for an upcoming review sometime this is a, a really 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 cool shape so this is one, my honey badgers, one of my honey badgers. Two, I have this honey badger. It's very small. You can see it's about the same size as this. A little too small. It's like a fifth pocket carry, but you can choke up on it because it has a choil. It has a jimped choil in there. Yeah, I don't carry this one that, that much, and I don't know what I was thinking of blue. I think this was a, I don't, I think it was exclusive at the time. I don't know, I, it probably from Honey Badger, but I don't, I think you can get blue now. So I, I don't know why I bought it because <laughs> I've personally never carried it. So if you're interested in this, uh, I'll probably sell this down the road I'm not fond of blue but it's a little small but like I said yeah it's great 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 detent so it's very tough he has a really cool jimping so you can choke up on it so any about anybody can uh, hold it another knife I have I started like somewhat customizing or modding it um and then i gave up because i didn't like how it was coming out i even changed the backspacer i ordered a backspacer a red backspacer and uh changed it out and uh i don't think i was going to do anything to this side or or something different but i wanted to uh expose the honeycomb i think i wanted to like give it a black widow look i i don't know <laughs> But this is the, the worn cleaver. 
I guess that was what you call it, or, or a cleaver. But it has a great detent. It's super strong. Let's, let's hear it whack out. Yeah, it's super strong. You have to really, really, really push out your uh, finger to get this one to spidey flick. And it has a great flipper. I mean, you can light switch it. It's very great. So this is the um, full size version. If you you didn't catch it, it's it's a full size version. But it sort of has a little bit of a choke up area. Yeah, I, I, I've carried this a few times and uh, it's a little bit dirty right now. But uh, I, I think I carried it and stuck it in the ground in a tree in the park one day. So this is the first honey badger I've ever bought. You could see. I customize it. I gave it like a. I don't know. I think it was tan. I gave it a dye job, a little bit of red in there, and a little bit of black in the honeycomb, and then I um. I sanded it. On the, the raised edges. So, I like this knife. I've I've carried this knife a lot. I don't know what that sound is. I'll. I'll, I'll have to pause. Okay, I'm back. Somebody is out there shoveling snow. We still have snow on the ground, but it's 57 degrees in Illinois <laughs> with uh, snow on the ground. So I hear we're going to get some snow on Thursday. So I guess it's not over, but with uh, 57 degrees, you would think it was over. Anyway, I carry this knife a lot. This is in D2. I think this is the 8CR. I think this is an 8CR. I don't know what this is. 8CR. Yeah. Yeah. All these are 8CR, but this is in D2. So this is a, I, I believe this is called a, considered a medium sized knife. And you can see what a small honey badger looks like. So I really dig the medium size and this is a large so let's see what a large looks like. Pretty, pretty significant on their sizes changes. And yeah. All right, uh, if you guys want to know any more else about this knife, I, I think I've done some uh, previous videos on it. The action's sweet. You can spidey flick it or light switch it. And that's lastly, this is my, um, I wouldn't say this is. Let me pause it. So I wouldn't say this is my prized possession, <laughs> but I kind of was at the right time on, uh, I believe, Blade HQ at the time, and I uh, was looking and on Blade HQ, and I just ran across this knife just as it dropped. I, I'm pretty sure it sold out re really quickly, but this is the the TMP. Uh, the Nut and Fancy Project Knife uh, Honey Badger. I believe uh, Black Hardware and Black yeah, Black Clip it was new. It has a black liner, black backspacer. Yeah, it has uh, internal black liners. But, oh, this has the weak, weakest detent of all. It's, uh, you can't probably tell that this is a stone wash. And f at the time, I don't, I think this was a first for Honey Badger doing a stone wash. And it doesn't have the Honey Badger logo on it. So it's a, a D2 numbered version of 
the Nut and Fancy project. It's like it came out in February 2021. This is 104. I don't, I don't remember how many were produced. It's either 500 or to 800. I think. I, I'm really not sure. You probably know more than me because I don't watch the Nut and Fancy project anymore. So, but this is a, I would call this is a, a medium size knife and uh, I believe the the white scales were a first too I believe you can get these nowadays but that you couldn't get them at the time so if anybody's interested in a nut and fancy project numbered honey badger feel free to contact me I don't know how much it's worth but I need the money now so I'll probably would let it go so so this is my um, honey honey badger collection and uh, I don't know if uh, honey badgers are popular but I think it's a good knife it's a really good knife if you ask me this is so unique <laughs> I'm glad I got it uh, I was going to talk about uh, some other knives, but I'm, I'll leave that for another video. Take care, Wastelanders. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe there's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need